Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, December 13th at seven o'clock Eastern time. This is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com coming to you live. And hopefully um, my screen is gonna catch up with me in a second. And I can see you guys. So hello, hello, hello everybody. Hey Kathy, hey Cam. Snowing in North Dakota, brr. It's cold here and it looks like it's gonna snow. It's freezing outside. Like, I think it's about, I think it got up to 45 today. So it's probably like in the high 30s right now, but it was really gloomy all day and looked like it was gonna snow. And um, it rarely snows here, but um, it just looked like one of those days because it was so gloomy and doomy outside. <laughs> oh, my camera's crooked. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. All right, so, um, hey, Lynn, hey, Jody, hey, Sue, hey, Terry, hey, Deborah, hey, Tony. How's everybody doing? It's supposed to snow until Saturday. Burr, I think it's cold everywhere. It is cold, cold here. Oh, 48 in Georgia. That's, that's pretty bad if it's 48 in Georgia, because you know that's pretty far south. Hello from Yuma, Arizona. So Melanie and uh, Spice Girl are the only people in somewhere warm, I think. <laughs> hey, Sandy. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Reva. Hey, Francis. All right, so this is what we're making. This is not a new stamp, even though I've hardly ever used it. Um, I decided to use something that maybe you guys have. So... Um, I'm not going to have all new stuff this month because I know some of you guys who aren't demonstrators are getting a little jealous because you don't have the new stuff yet. So um, I thought I'd have do something today that everybody can have. So this is the bouquet of thanks. It's just one stamp. And I used this on another video and did a whitewash technique with it. So today's, uh-oh, it says I'm buffering. Am I buffering? Yikes. Can you guys hear and see me okay, or is it really buffering everywhere? I hope not. It looks okay on my camera, so I don't know. Um, oh, Karen made my Christmas crack candy. Lynn says I'm fine. Okay, that's good. All right, so we're using Bouquet of Thanks, which is just a single stamp, and it is rubber, so it's easy to um, use. All you got to do is just take it out. I did trim mine up a little bit because I like to do stamp surgery on my stuff. So um, I am using the Stamparatus today, which I don't use that much on videos. Um, so hopefully, you guys, if you don't use your Stamparatus, then you'll see. I know, where is Spice Girl? I was just thinking that myself. Where is Spice Girl? Um, she must be taking a nap or something. So I'm going to use the Stamparatus to get a really good image on this because I tried it without it and this is how it came out. So you can see like the difference. It kind of missed a few spots. I did it a couple of times. That one I think I kind of moved or something. But um, when you want a really good image, the Stamparatus works really well. So um, we're going to do that. Um, I do use mine pretty often, but not on a video. So if I'm making a whole bunch of stuff like the same, then um, I'll whip it out and do it because it's really, I'll have to show you guys a trick with the Stamparatus. Um, you probably have already seen it, but if you have a bunch of cutout images to do, it's really easy um, to cut them all out ahead of time and then stamp them with the Stamparatus. I'll show that a tip one time. So um, let me just go over a couple things real quick. Big, big news. So on Thursday, only there's going to be free shipping special so any of you guys that have been waiting to order the clearance rack or the sales stuff or anything else from the holiday mini um there's going to be free shipping on thursday only for 24 hours from just midnight to midnight um on thursday which is two o'clock um, it's 12 midnight mountain time so two o'clock eastern time here um Oh, <laughs> Kathy says she's at bowling, but she's having to watch <laughs> from bowling. 
Debbie Spicer is taking a nap, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, write that down. Put your, write yourself a note. Don't forget free shipping on Thursday. So I was doing this car. Yeah. $75 minimum order. Thank you, Lynn. I forgot that. So $75 minimum order for the free shipping special. And, um, also if you're a demonstrator, you know, we can get free celebration stuff now if we're doing demonstrator orders. So you can order on your demonstrator order, orders from the new catalog and get free shipping and get celebration stuff. So it's a great deal if you're a demonstrator right now. And if you're not a demonstrator and you want to be, you can always sign up under me because I would love to have you on my team. So um, also we have um, my card kit. Whoops. The bow just fell off. Here we go. This is my card kit for um, the 1st through the 15th. So if you place an order, and so if you order on the 15th, this will be included. If your order is over $50 and you use the host code, you get a set of three um, uh, supplies to make three of these cards. And if you order $100 or more and use the host code, then you get um, the rhinestones too. <laughs> you see my thing, my hand? It was so funny. I was stamping this card and I looked at my hand. And I was like, oh my God, I'm bleeding. So I go run into the kitchen because I thought I'd cut myself. And I go into the kitchen and I'm washing it and washing it. It's not coming off. I don't know where this came from. So somewhere I grabbed something with red ink and it's not coming off. I've washed my hands like 10 times and it has not. I don't know what it is. I got blue on me too. But I thought I was bleeding at first. <laughs> I'm not bleeding, but it's red ink. And the only thing I made with red ink was this card. And it, But that was earlier today. So um, I don't know where this came from. I must have grabbed something that had red ink on it or something. I don't know. Because pretty much everything I stamped today was either blue or black. So I don't know. Um, but if your order's over $150, do not use the host code. Just um, you get the host benefits. So don't do that because you want to get the free stuff yourself. All right, so let me tell you what we're using. So that's the card. Oops, let me just keep it there. So all you need, this is not much cutting. So you need five and a half by eight and a half Pacific point, um, a piece of five and a quarter by four white for the inside, a piece of five and a quarter by four white, and this one is embossed with the um, time-worn type. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's got the time-worn type on there. So that's embossed and then crumb cake three and a quarter by four and a half. And that's all you need for this card. So if you want to get a screenshot of that, it's a super quick and easy card to make. Lava soap is the best way to get ink off. Usually when I take a shower and wash my hair, the ink will come off or, you know, after I wash it a few times, it'll come off. But um, this is really weird because... I've literally like washed my hands five or six times and it doesn't seem like any of it has come off. So I don't even know where it came from. Now that's what's so weird. Um, can't wait. Love to skip work and stay home and make cards. Me too. And I'm so excited because um, I have to work tomorrow a double and then I'm off till Monday. And then I work Monday a double and then I'm off for a week. So I've only got two more days of work left. And then I get all that time off, so I'm so excited. As long as nobody calls in sick, I'm, I'll be okay. Um, making a lot of one-sheet wonders with stamps, but I use Stamparatus for sentiments. Okay, that's a good idea, too. Um, I got three huge boxes of Stampin' Up! stuff today, so I think that's my order from the first. So it took like two weeks to get here. Um... Patricia says, it is Lisa. I'm a hobby demonstrator and love discount and advanced ordering. Yes, me too. This is my first time live. Oh, Charlene, first time live. And you live in Oregon about an hour from Tillamook. I actually ate some Tillamook today for lunch. That was my lunch, some ice cream. <laughs> and then I had a salad for dinner. <laughs> So, if I eat ice cream for one meal, I have to have a healthy meal for the other one. <laughs> um, use hand sanitizer to remove glue and ink. I'll have to try that. Although, I did use hand sanitizer a little while ago, and that didn't seem to do anything. Um, 
Let's see. Cam says it's storming today, probably tomorrow. Joyce says, wait a minute, at Jam Cat Lady. I missed something. Uh, let's see. Oh, Jody got her order today, too. Oh, jo <laughs> Jan says, wish I could just retire. Me, too. Girl, me, too. All right, so let's get started. This is actually a pretty easy card. And you can do it in any color you want to. We're going to be using watercolor pencils, which I have not used in a long time. So I brought them out. Let me switch this to live chat. Here we go. Okay. Um, I have not used these in a long time. And I was having a hard time coloring the other. What did I use the other day? Oh, this one. This flower I was trying to color the other day. This is actually designer paper that I cut out. And then after I cut this out, I found out there's a dye that goes with not this piece of paper, but there's another piece of paper in there that the dye matches. This one, this paper doesn't have a dye, but there's another sheet in there that does have the dye that matches it. But I was trying to color this with the um, Stampin' Blends and I couldn't get it exactly the way this one is. And I think I might go back and redo this flower with the watercolor pencils because it's really easy to color flowers with it. So um, let's go ahead and start. So we're gonna be using the Stamparatus. So if you have not ever used it, it's a super easy way to get stuff straight and also to get like, if you have an image that's kind of hard to stamp, if it's big or something like that, it's easy to get it in there. So I just drew a little place where I'm gonna put mine and I'm just gonna put a little dab of adhesive on the back just to keep it in, in place because I don't like to use the magnets so much um, just because I think they get in the way sometimes so normally I have this on the side I don't know why I put it on the top but I did so I'm going to turn it just this way real quick so I've got this placed so it's going to be right in the middle of this so that's what it's going to do I'm going to turn it sideways just so you guys can see it in the camera now, normally when you ink this up, you want something under it like a stamp set or something so it's flat and you can ink it up better. And how you place that, as what I always do is put my paper wherever I want it and just draw a line where I have my paper. And then I just lay the stamp on it um, exactly where I want it. And then I close it so then it sticks to the lid and then you have it in exactly the right place. And then you can just keep putting your paper there and make a whole bunch of them and hopefully this is not shaking my camera try not to hit it too much okay and then we're going to close it and i have my little chucky tool so we're just going to rub that on here if you don't have one of these you can use a dry erase marker or you can just go like this and kind of press it but i think this gives it a really even pressure on there and it's got like a, a felt bottom to it. All right, so then we lift it up. See how it's not like totally dark and it looks like there's a piece of hair or something right there. I don't know what happened there. That's weird. Oh, it is a piece of hair. Okay, so <laughs> we had a little piece of hair in there. So see, that's a good thing. So now I can go ahead and re-ink it and we'll fix that. I don't know how that happened. All right, so now we got more ink and we're gonna do it again. So the paper stays in the exact same spot. Then we're gonna do it again and it'll make it darker and it'll be in the exact same spot so you don't have to worry about it moving or anything. So now that came out much better. So there we go. And I like using the grid paper on there. So that makes a much better image than just doing it regular. All right, so we're done with that. And now we're gonna color. So we have two packs of watercolor pencils in case you've never seen them before. One is the old one. We've had these for like 20 years and they come in all these colors. And then the new pack comes in all these colors. So originally these were not stamping up colors. They were just like a bunch of different colors, but then they kind of matched them to stamping up. So all of these are Stampin' Up! colors. I'm using Pacific Point for the flowers 
And um, for the leaves, I'm using Garden Green. And I kind of put a little bit of Coastal Cabana on there too. So those are the two colors I'm using from those. Oh, and I'm also using white. You actually get a white one. So there's a white in the box. So I'm gonna be using the white one too. So let's just grab these. All right, so I've got my white one and then Pacific Point. There's the Garden Green and my Coastal Cabana. So I'm gonna start with the leaves. So I'm gonna do all the leaves first and the good thing is you really don't have to be precise. I like to leave a little bit of white um, or, you know, uncolored areas. And since this is not even white, it's crumb cake, it doesn't even matter. So I'm just gonna color these in. And if you wanna take a blender pen, you can surely do that. That'll blend the colors together. You could go like that and just blend the color in like that and make it really pretty. Um, I'm not going to do that on the flowers because I want to leave the flowers um, with that white edge on them. So I'm only going to blend the leaves in. And I am going to add a little bit of Coastal Cabana on these two. Just to make them a little bit bluer, more like shaded spruce color. So I'm just kind of scribbling the color in here. I'm not really doing any perfect coloring by any means. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna add a little bit of Coastal Cabana just to give it a little tinge of blue. And then I'm gonna go back and blend it. So it's really subtle, the Coastal Cabana in there, but it does make the leaves just a little bit more um, like sh uh, shaded spruce. So just blend that in. And it's really a pretty color, I love it. I did just the green by itself first and I'm like, eh, I don't know if I like that green so much. So there's your leaves. And if you let it dry and you wanna make them darker, you can, but you don't have to. Um, let me see, let me read some comments real quick. Good balance for your meals. <laughs> I know, ice cream and salad. <laughs> I know it. I love color pencils and Gamsol. I bought some Gamsol. I have a big giant jar of it or a bottle of it. And I've never used it. I don't even know why I bought it. But I'm going to have to look it up and see why I bought it. Um, I took the next three Thursdays off. Nice. Two days each week, rest of the time in the craft room. Yeah. Hey, Beth. Oh, you're in Pennsylvania? What? You were just here a couple days ago. I didn't know you were going to Pennsylvania. Um, cards are done, need to bake. Love that thing you're using to push down. You can get something like this, the Chucky tool. One of my um, customers made this for me, but it, you know what it is? It's a, like a door handle or something, I think. It's just a ball that you get. It's a wood ball, and I don't know what this is. It's just something she got at the hardware store that comes like this and she glued the two together and then put a piece of felt on the bottom. But they sell something on Amazon that's plastic that looks like a hockey puck that's kind of like the same thing. So you can get that or a dry erase marker will also work. So you can use any of those things. Um, <gasps> Robin, you tripped and fell and broke your right humerus bone. You won't be stamping. Oh my gosh, that's awful. Yeah, that's what I said, Patricia. You can get a dry erase, dry erase. Did I say dry eraser or dry erase marker? It's a dry eraser. <laughs> that's what I meant. <laughs> um, what is Gamsol? It's some kind of stuff. I remember I bought it originally when I bought a journaling Bible. And I can't remember why I bought it. I want to say it's something you put on the paper to make it so that the ink doesn't bleed through. But now I can't remember exactly why I bought it. I don't know. Um, oh, Beth, you're visiting your dad. Well, I thought you didn't have a way to get there. That's why I'm wondering how you got there because um, you said you couldn't fly and you didn't have anybody take you. Yeah, dry eraser is what I used used to use for um, the stamparatus. All right, so I'm just going to color in the flower 
basically where all those dark lines are, I'm just gonna color over those dark lines. So I'm gonna go around the whole thing, color all the dark areas. And then I'm gonna go over the light areas with the white. So I'm not gonna be using the, bl the um, blender pen for this because I want to leave some of the areas white. And I think it looks better. I tried it both ways and it looked better without using the blender pen since I got the white areas in there. So you wanna leave some areas totally uncolored so that the white will show up better. Okay, so we're just gonna go around to each one. Hopefully my head's not in the camera because I'm kind of bending over looking at it. And I see my hand is in the way, sorry about that. hard to color here. Let me turn it around. Maybe it, that'll be better. So I'm just really going right over those darker areas with the pencil. And then do the last one. So this one has a lot of dark in it. I'm not going to color the whole thing though because I really want to have some white in here. And it's so pretty, I love it. And you can do this in any color you want to. I just, you know, love blue. It's one of my favorite colors. Blue and purple and pink, if you look at my videos, are probably my favorite colors to use. All right, so I think that's probably good. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay. All right, oh, and then I forgot down here. So the banner, we're gonna do the same thing. So I've got a little bit of blue on the banner. Okay. Now we're gonna go back with the white. So I'm gonna color this white. Oops, I just went out of the lines there. And this. So we're coloring all around the words. I don't want to go too much over the letters because that'll kind of make them not stand out as much, but I'm just going to go over just a little bit. Okay, so there we go. All right, and then the flowers, we're just going to go around to each flower, and I'm just going to go over the areas that I don't have all the blue. So some of it's gonna be a little bit right on top of the blue, but most of it's gonna be right around the edges. So Tillamook ice cream is on sale here till today for $3. So I had to go buy a couple the other day and um, I've already eaten them. So I was gonna go back to the store today and get a couple more, but I was like, nah, I probably should lay off the ice cream for a little while. And the funny thing is I was gonna go get some peppermint ice cream some, you know, the only place, the only um, brand I know that makes good peppermint ice cream is Edie's. Well, now that Food Lion, which is our main grocery store, we have Food Lion and Kroger mostly in Harris Teeter. And um, Food Lion has always sold Edie's and Walmart too. Well, now you can't find Edie's anywhere around here. Except I think Kroger still has it. Because Tillamook has kind of taken over the market around here because it's so good. And I think I caused everyone in the whole area to start buying it. So, because I told everybody about it. Because it is the best ice cream. I know some of you guys like uh, Blue, what is it, Bluebell. But I don't know, I think it's better than Bluebell. Alright, so we're getting almost to the point where I need to sharpen this sucker. We're almost done though. All right, and then for the little teeny flowers, I started doing that with the watercolor pencil, but you couldn't see it. So then I got the marker out. So I'm using Rich Razzleberry for that. All right, so I think that's good. So it kind of looks like a little bit like a whitewash color in the two. So this is the Rich Razzleberry, just regular marker, not Stampin' Blend. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just dab a teeny bit of color on all of these little tiny flowers. They're kind of hard to color because they're so tiny. 
So you're really just putting like a dab of color and it doesn't even hardly show up that much, but if you look at it closely, it does a little bit. So the other day, a lot of you guys have told me about Bridgerton because I watched Virgin River and then I watched um, The Noel Diary and then a lot of y'all suggested Bridgerton. So I went and tried to watch it one day and I watched, you know, the first episode and I really couldn't get into it. I'm like, yeah, this, is, this show is not that great. Well, then I went back and I finished watching the first episode and by the end of the first episode, I was kind of hooked. And then I, I started watching straight through because I was cutting um, a bunch of paper for class this week. And I started watching and I watched like three episodes in a row. And then it was time to go to bed because I had to go to work the next day. But I couldn't stop watching it. So then I had to keep watching it. And I watched five episodes in a row. And then today I watched the rest of season one. And oh my gosh, it is a good show. <laughs> so if you start watching it in the first episode, you're not really like hooked. Just keep on watching it until you get through the first one. And then it becomes like a really good show. <laughs> so I'm highly recommending it. But it is like juicy, juicy, juicy. All right. So then what we're going to do is... Um, well, let's put it together. I don't have anything to put on the inside because I didn't have an extra stamp just laying around. So, oh, I forgot. Wait a minute. We're going to sponge this. So I've got crumb cake. No, Sahara sand. I thought it was crumb cake, but it's Sahara sand. So we're just going to go around the edge with the Sahara sand and make these words pop out more because when I put this on there, I thought it was like hard to see the um, embossed part. So I wanted to make it pop a little bit. So I just put some sponging around the edges. You don't have to worry about the middle because it'll be covered up. I hope I'm not shaking my camera. I just thought about that. It's right next to the camera. All right, so see the difference of where you sponged it, how you can see the words so much better, they just pop right out. So that just gives you a little bit more depth, I think. So that's probably good. Let me read some comments real quick. Oh, Spice Girl's on here. Um, let me see, when did she get on here? Sorry, just jumped on. Thanks. Uh-oh, Greg rushed to the hospital. I have to put a new valve in his heart. Oh, yikes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, praying for him. Do we have a Meyer store? No, we do not have Meyers here. Um, they don't sell Tillamook in New York. And your husband is ice cream fanatic. Oh, dang. Well... I don't know what to tell you because until I found Tillamook, I didn't know what I was missing. But it is some good ice cream. All right, so that's going to go right on the front. Sometimes it's hard to tell which way is right side up on this, this uh, folder. All right, this white piece goes on the inside. I didn't have anything to stamp on it, but you can stamp whatever you want. This is, oops, I already had some on the back. I could have left that on there. That was from a different project. That's This was in my scrap pile. So pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> All right. And then this one's going to go on with some dimensionals. So I've got all my little pieces I cut off the edge here. Well, Spice Girl, we were missing you. I'm sorry about your husband. I hope he's going to be okay. But if you're watching my video, he can't be but so bad. Because <laughs> you're on here. Um, let's see. Stamp it for me. Sorry to interrupt. You're not interrupting. Did you just drop on to say hello, I guess? Um, let's 
see. Did I watch the second season? No, I actually just finished the first season like 10 minutes before I started this video. I was almost late because I was sitting there watching the season finale of season one. And I thought I only had like 15 more minutes to go. And I kept watching it. And then it was like quarter till seven. And I'm like, oh, I've got to stop watching. But it was like the last 10 minutes. And I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't stop. I can't stop. So I had to watch. And then I, we found out who um, Whistledown was at the very last minute. And that's kind of who I thought it was. But I'm not going to tell anybody in case they're watching it. I don't want to spoil it for you. But Whistledown is like the town gossip columnist. So it was exciting to find that out. And it's kind of, I thought it was one of two people. And it, it was one of the ones I thought it was. All right, so we're going to make oops, a little bow. So we're going to do a double one. So here's just one loop. So that's enough for one. And then we're going to double that up and make two. Let me get my scissors. All right, so, and this is just linen thread, regular old linen thread. So we're just gonna tie a double bow. And I think that's too big. I'm all thumbs today. Okay, and then we're just gonna pull that, and make a little bow. Okay. There we go. All right, so then we're gonna trim this a little bit. And we're just gonna put this down here at the bottom, so I need to trim it just a little bit more. I was gonna put it up near the flower, like right here, but then I thought it kind of overpowered the words there, so I moved it down some. All right, so we're gonna put that on with the glue dot. And I did my first re-roll of glue dots so I opened a box and it was the new glue dots that had them on the, the piece here instead of the roll. So I re-rolled it. That was fun. <laughs> Not. <laughs> so whoever it was that said that they know the owner, make sure they tell them to hurry up and redo them. All right, so then we're going to put some rhinestones on. And get our little goo, our take your pick tool. Just put a couple of rhinestones on here. And then we're gonna do some shimmering. I tried Wink of Stella and it just wasn't enough shimmer for me today. So we're gonna do some shimmer spray. And if you, if, I know I always get a lot of questions about the shimmer spray. So if you're a newbie and you haven't ever seen the shimmer spray, um, I show it in a lot of videos. I would say probably 75 to 80% of my videos have shimmer spray. And I have a video that's um, Stamping 101, everything you need to know about stamping. That one explains how what it is, how to make it and everything. So go check that one out. Just search Lisa Fre Freeman Stamping 101. That'll tell you how to make it. The um, In the description box below the video is where to order it. And then you just need 70% alcohol with the shimmer paint. So it's this shimmer paint here champagne mist shimmer paint and the link is in the description box and we're just going to shake it up and spray it on here about three or four times and then let that dry for just a minute and then i'm going to hold it up and show it to you and let me read they're closing the interstate in north dakota what because of snow oh that's bad um hey gail uh-oh debbie's gotta go well we'll be praying for your husband i hope he's gonna be okay what though the poor ambulance and tall cute guys what <laughs> we're stuck okay bridgerton is my favorite even better than the first, if that you oh, uh, season two is better than the first. Well, I am excited about watching season two. Um, oh, Tony, your boyfriend likes uh, has ice cream three to four times a week, but Tillamook doesn't make Neapolitan. Well, he could get vanilla and strawberry and chocolate and mix them together. 
They do make vanilla and strawberry. I don't think they have a plain chocolate, but. Um, let's see. Everybody's praying for Debbie Spicer that and her husband. That's good. Let's see. 66 in Texas. Joyce says, has anyone seen a castle for Christmas? I haven't seen that. I'll have to look at that. Um, okay. I think I got all the comments. All right, so what do you guys think about the card? Can you see the sparkle? Love it, love it, love it. And I think those watercolor pencils worked really well for this coloring. I know it's so hard to see the sparkles. All right. Well, I hope you loved this card. Love Miss Scarlet and the Duke on PBS. I have not seen that either. But I like the guy on Bridgerton. <laughs> the guy on Bridgerton is a really, really good looking. <laughs> um, but I heard he's leaving in the second season, so I don't know. I saw something about that. Love how you colored and shaded this card. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Jody. Thanks, Cam. You shimmered today and used it. All right. Um, well, I'm gonna have to write that castle for Christmas down and watch that. Oh, they do have chocolate. They don't have chocolate at our grocery store. They have a lot of uh, cool flavors, but not chocolate. Um, vanilla, they do have vanilla and strawberry though. All right, you guys. Well, thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you love this video and try this uh, watercolor pencils out yourselves. They're pretty cheap too. I think they're only like nine or $10 for a pack. So that's pretty cheap. Oh, uh, don't forget, just a reminder, if you came on late, free shipping on Thursday. So don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. Free shipping Thursday only. So I'll be back Thursday night with a video. Um, until then, you guys take care, stay warm. And everybody pray for Debbie's husband. And I will be back in a couple days. See you later.